The Clark Sisters' eighth album, You Brought the Sunshine, sold well upon its release in 1981. But for a while, it seemed no one would play the title song. The gospel stations would not play the song, You Brought the Sunshine, because it had a reggae beat. And nobody had ever done the reggae beat before. Months later, the Clock Sisters were preparing a new album when You Brought the Sunshine suddenly took off. Story has it that the chief rocker, Frankie Crocker, at WBLS in New York City, played their song, You Brought the Sunshine. And, uh, you know, supposedly that was the first time it was played on, I guess, secular radio. And he said when he played it, people called in the entire four hours that he was on the radio for him to keep playing. And he said he must have played it about 20 times before he went off the air. We got a lot of calls from our friends. They said, hey, do, do y'all know y'all being played on the radio? <laughs> he said, yeah, yeah, we're hearing about it. Sunshine was catching like wildfire. It was climbing the R&B charts and was a hit on the dance floors and discos around the country, including New York's notorious Studio 54. Studio 54. And they wanted us to actually come and sing. The man said, ma'am, we would pay you whatever you want. We would give you top dollar. Can you just please come to the studio? My mother said, now nah, I ain't gonna have my girls in no studio with y'all dancing. <laughs> Whether they performed in nightclubs or not, Sunshine was a huge crossover success and their first significant taste of financial success. That's when we started really actually seeing the paper, paper, the money. <laughs> you brought the sunshine is the one that actually allowed the country to know who the Clark sisters were. But the highs didn't last long. Church leaders didn't like the idea of the gospel music fueling those wild disco nights. Because they feel like, how can you write gospel music and you got worldly people listening to your music and buying your music? It should be just church people. 